Hello guys, welcome back to Bullhawk. We're on level five, St. Francis Folly. Um, yeah, in the last uh, chunk, we talked to um, Larson, a friggin' idiot, trying to explain where else we need to get this uh, ski on at, like if there's more pieces to it. So I guess we are trying really stealthy and sure enough we doesn't know we're looking around for some more info. I don't think this would ever work. I feel like she's losing off. And then she's got a manicure gown still. Like I don't understand how she would still whatever. Relocated now to St. Francis's Folly, new temptations torment me. So much for being sneaky, though. No. My fellow brothers, is that entombed beneath our monastery is the body of Tiopian, one of the three legendary rulers of the lost continent Atlantis, and that with him lies his piece of the Atlantean Skion, a pendant divided and shared between the three rulers, which curbs tremendous powers. Powers beyond the Creator himself, my toes sweat at such possibilities, lying so close to my mortal self. Each night, I beat myself rid of these fantasies, but it is indeed a test. Pierre, you little bug. Bones. All right. Oops. <laughs> I don't know why when the gorillas die it just sounds so goofy like ah! <laughs> like surprised man. <laughs> Ow! You killed me. I guess maybe it might, makes me think of Barney off of um off the Simpsons. <laughs> Oh, all right. Now, this is something that happens in this chunk. Um, Pierre's a wiener, so he just kind of wings back and forth. He he's going to be like, oh, I'm going to get some shots in. I'm totally just going to kill her. She'll even be talking to me for her. He does this for uh, most of the, like, whatever the hell-themed levels these are. Like, Mythological. Let's just say mythological, because I mean it goes through different, different aspects. Did I actually get him enough to for him to go off? So this is what he does. He just trolls you. He, he will go around shooting you, jacking up your damn, um, jacking up your damn health. You got to shoot at him, but it doesn't do anything. So if you have other guns, don't bother with him, because like, you don't need to worry about your ammo on this yoohoo when it's not even going to do anything like he uh spoiler alert he don't he doesn't die until um <laughs> well technically if you think about it he doesn't really die. he doesn't die i don't think he even dies i mean but technically he ends um at the end of tomb, tomb of tohoken um i say that because he's also he and larson are also in Tomb Raider Chronicles for some damn reason. I don't know. I think it's a past thing. But that still doesn't make any sense. Because, you know, the whole idea of Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider 5, Tomb Raider Chronicles, is that you're... 
Ted Link are dead, and they go and tell like really good stories, like what they remember about you and that kind of kind of thing. And one of them had to do with some plot with Larson and Pierre, but I don't know if that's really a past thing or not because she. This must be after this game because she doesn't know who the hell these people are at all here, here you know what I mean? Not until she's told of them. So yeah, the continuity on that is a little wonky. Ooh, I'll never get that on the first try ever again. Never. A lot of flipping to do's. Now, um, <clears throat> I emphasized this, I think, way back in the first episode, um, that this is a playthrough. Like, you're just watching me bumble and dick around and all that. Um, I'm going to try to get, per like, be perfect when it comes to secrets, at least. Like, pickups and kills, I, f I don't know. You know, I'm not exact on that, um, obviously. But, um... Oh my god! I, didn't, I haven't saved yet, so I was a little worried about that. Um, so, I'm going to try to get through. There is a secret here, and it's about to come up. And I just cannot... I've maybe gotten into this part once or twice. Like, if you want me... like. I can always, if I mess this up here soon, I can always see if I can find a, like a link of somebody doing it correctly. Maybe I can find like a Suzanne the Raider um, doing it. I'm pretty, yeah, you know, she gets all her secrets. So I'm pretty sure he, I, if I mess this up, I can try to find a link and put it in the description or something <coughs> for you. Bar. All right, Um, let me go back and do that again. Jump it a do down here. Um, I'll show you what I mean with it. Like it, it's pretty. There's a couple of toughies in this one. It, it just most of the secrets so far have just been kind of like, oh whoopee, I found it. You know, um, they're just in like little crevasses and that kind of thing. But these, it's just like actually does require you to um, flip around, do some acrobatic speed, time, and shit on these, and I'm not, as much as I play this, I mean, I should know, but, um, I should know that, um, how to be acrobatic and flippery do with it, but, <sighs> with being human, it just doesn't happen sometimes, so, Here's what I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm saving, and it's not just so I could try it again or anything. If I don't get it, I'm not going to try again because it just it's it's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, plus, I haven't saved, and if I if I croak, it's not. I'd have to do this bull crap all over again. So so apparently, so you, what you're supposed to do is slide. Now, with this, what I think you're supposed to be doing here is jumping up and jumping back, but see, I never can get it, but that is a secret, just like this is. Like, again, like this is one of those secrets where you're like, oh, I'm in a hole, you know, like you just kind of find it. Um, but it. So yeah, I mean, I can. I'll try to look up. Try to look up Suzanne the Raider. See if you want to. When you're done with that secret too, you um, you it lets you out in here. Um, so you don't just. What you want to do though, if you're going for all secrets and you do end up down here from that hole. Do not just immediately hit the lever, though. You're, you're going to need the water to go backwards as opposed to what I just did. Um, so that way you can go up into that one and get the next secret. 
But because I I goobered up on that secret, we won't need to worry about it. Crocodiles on here. Crocodile, alligator, well, lizard peeps are so dramatic on here when it comes to dying. They're just not having it. They are real mad about about dying. Alright, so your main objective on here. There are four different keys and they're themed on um, different types of um, mythology. And like I said, it is a bit wonky as to who they're doing. So Neptune. I want to say Neptune is um, is Roman, I think. So you're, what you're first needing to do is having to get these um, doors open in the first place. There's a lot of back and forth on going up and down. So it, it, may, it makes it kind of... Um, if you're not, it, it, it could take a while if you're figuring out the lay of the land because it's a bit here and there. What I'm going to try to do though, this is another secret and sometimes I get this, sometimes I don't, but this is a timed one. So what I'm doing here is pressing the pad. Making an alley. Jumping. Bye. I'll deal with you in a minute. Bye. And then you've got to get through this door. So, I did it. Yay. Sometimes I don't get it on time. Oh, it loads you out, dude. And, you know, trying for this secret kind of helps. Boof! Um... You know, we're going to encounter Pierre doing some stupid trolling bullshit with his guns here at some point. Going for this, though, even if you don't get it, like, let's say, you know, let's say you don't get there on time and you just move on with your life. This kind of helps to go, kind of help you with the flow of what the hell's even going on here. So I got two out of four of the doors open. And then I just kind of have to trek back up. So it's a lot of trekking up and down. So like, I try to, no matter how the doors open, I try to go from bottom, from top to bottom when it comes to the the doors. Um, just that way, damn, come on. And it kind of saves the time. Um, these doors kind of they're their own thing in themselves too so it's like you're you're not just going through a door like you gotta actually go through some puzzle you shit to even get the key so it kind of um door three now i'm gonna go over here real quick this one's not open yet but there's a pickup over here Boo. I'm trying to even remember. Okay, damn it, please. <sighs> Suzanne the Raider mentions she actually, because I really didn't have much insight. Like, I really did not know of it. I kind of have just an, an idea of what the puzzle was. Like, there, you know, there's knives and stuff, and you, you'll see that here in a sec. But she actually does go through and explain it as to why that's even there in the first place, what, the, what it even means. And goes through the story of it and it, I think it has um, something to do with like backstabbing or that that kind of thing um, he like the guy doesn't trust a lot of people I don't know take a look at her St. Francis Folly thing um, I'm just gonna link the whole friggin video if I can because um, not only will it help you with the secrets um, she um, she explains that pretty well too as to why Again, I, I don't know why they went off. They went off rail when it came to the mythology. Get off my head! Damn. Let's 
lever over. Yup. Yup. Alright. Other doors are open, so what I'm gonna do now, because I am pretty close, I'm just going to go from bottom to top, or top to bottom. Wolf, why do I keep saying that? All right. Boy! Yo, bat! Okay, um. So I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. All right. go ahead and save here just in case all right Neptune of course is a water thing and this one's fairly easy I mean you really only have to worry about drowning okay. easy right so I basically am pulling this lever it's gonna open the door for me in order to get the key and then I have to go back up main thing is you're at half breath and you gotta make sure you have plenty to swim back up here. There isn't like a push with the current like there was before. That must have had something to do with the lever. But you just have to get back up here on time. Boom! All right. So we got that one. This one isn't too bad. Okay. Okay, this one, Atlas, Way of the World, that kind of crap. So I think. Ooh. hardest one on here is gonna be um, Thor. I got out of Thor is Nordic, isn't it? I mean, before it was Marvel, but um, there's a couple things to it. It's not just kind of this one main thing like these first two have been. Well, actually, Damocles is kind of a one one main point thing too, but it's kind of split into you. You're figuring out two different things. Thing that I don't understand. So, um, I'm getting to the point where this is a part where Pear is trolling you and like shooting at, shooting at you and shit. Um, there are two lions down there with him. Why don't they eat him? Or why doesn't he shoot at them? Like, I don't understand. He's completely cool with these guys being. Right, that they're they're like coexisting together. It's like they hate her, they hate Laura so much that they they're both like, okay, we'll we'll tour you and go out and kill her. Whatever. I hope you can hear him. Okay, this is where it's first off, the power you see this 
lightning looks blue. Like, I don't know what it is up with. The console one is like a big chunky, chunky thing. So you're supposed to get to it where you're supposed to get advanced past this without being zapped. So of course that means, right, you don't touch any of these pads. But there are times when you're not on these pads and it's just because of it moving around that you can get zapped. So it's just really ridiculous. I think it probably has to do with the, the um, there's place markers above it too, but that's, you know, really. All right. Now here's where it gets all super Thor hammery here. <laughs> like literal is a damn hammer. I just don't hire them all. Um, excuse me? I mean, yeah, you're not supposed to... Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're not... You gotta... You gotta watch where you're going. Because... Because uh, you can't just be on the hammer. You, where you're gonna get smushed by the damn hammer. And then it like it hits so hard apparently that it makes these blocks appear for you and you're supposed to just utilize them from it falling from somewhere. And <laughs> yeah, um, I almost just completely biffed it on that. Holy hell. A lot of a cushion. Dangle, dangle. Easy, but now you gotta get back to it. This stupid crap. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Alright. Now I could usually I'm just gonna fart around with them damn lines down there. I'll just get this over with real quick. That way I can fart around. These don't do any these will not activate until I actually get the key. I will not advance until I move away from that. Um so yeah, they just kinda dangle dingle dangle here. Oh my lanta, why can't I move? Ooh. Son of a bitch. God, thank you. Dang. Okay. There's a... I think it's just this? Pick up wise, let me. It's really oh no, no. Nobody. Yay. Alright. 
So now the hard part on this is making sure. So now you see that they're activated. You can tell they're activated because you see that they're kind of spinning. There's a um, shadow to it. The thing is though, you think, oh, I don't get under that directly, but it senses where you're at and it'll, it'll move there. So you're already having to be careful enough, but you also have to be wary of just even being around a shadow because boom, they like still <laughs> want to move on you. It's damn sentient knives. Now I could move around these earlier, but for some reason they're letting me now. Oof! Oh! I got a boo boo! I think these are the two. Yeah, there's two that like knocked down together for some reason. Come on. Oh, nope. Those were what I was thinking of actually. So now there's twinsies. All right. Let's try to jump this jerk. That's all he does. He's just messing with you. He's just fucking around. Not even fucking around and finding out. And then these, uh, these damn lions are here to distract your auto aim, see? This time I can't really get that bad one. Damn it, lion. I mean, this is literally the last thing I gotta do. Bye, guy. Alright. How about you, Pierre the Lion? <laughs> Actually, this isn't the complete last thing I'm going to do. Um, I just saw those magnum. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> I just saw these magnum clubs. I'm gonna get those real quick. Hey! Aim! Ball. Anyway. What a ball. Alright. Oh, there's a bat! Bat leak! Alrighty, dude. I'm just gonna get a boom mini. Oh, sorry. I still feel bad. I have, I don't know how many times I've played this over and over again. <clears throat> and I played used to play this as a kid. And I used to watch my dad play it, and I still get bummed out about the damn uh, animals dying. And that is it. So I didn't get the the droppity hole secret. Y'all know where that's at. Um, I'll for, try to remember to link um, um, Suzanne and the Raiders uh, St. Francis Folly episode. So that way, not only can you, you know, for the, to find that secret, but to also check out um, what she had found out about that Damocles and like what his de damn deal is about. But silver lining moment, 
Um, that is a really good time for me when it comes to St. Francis Folly. I used to average around 34 minutes, not close to 40, you know, like around there. So that's pretty good. I mean, it'd be, um, you know, chef's kiss if I would have gotten that secret. But, you know, pick your wins, you know. So thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next level, which is um, the, what? This is episode would be a level six. And that should, that would be Coliseum. So thanks. Bye.